Hello everyone and welcome back to DCM, DC and me, your favorite local video game talk show. I'm Howard. Oh, I'm David. Wait, really? I mean, yeah, yeah, let's start off with the news. I mean, last, last, last I checked. News, yeah. 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 We're, we're prepared, yeah. As, as you can yeah. clearly see. What it, what 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 happened? What's what's happening in this in in the world in the news and we're, the games? We're, we're a little central. late. We're a little late, guys. Guys, please don't be mad. We have a thing. It's called lives. Don't be mad. Yeah, I I can't spend all my time playing video games. For the video I'm a games normal sure. person. I have a job, unlike yeah. you guys. I have a job. Exactly. I mean, I play video games like. All other hours of the day. Once I'm after after work, but like yeah, yeah, you but know. yeah, you know, yeah. We, we for like eight hours out of the day, I'm not gaming. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, well, what are we late on? Exactly. What are we? What is this bit? <laughs> I don't know what the bit is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys knew this, but there was an Alone in the Dark reboot. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't know this. Yeah. Because I forgot it came out. So it was supposed to come out in like October, but then they were absolutely terrified because everything releases in October and they put way too much money into it, so they delayed it until March. So it came out mm -hmm. late March. Everyone said it was okay. Then uh, just uh, Embracer saw this. They put way too much money, and they said, "Hey guys, goodbye. You're closed. You had one month to make up the costs of a video game. Bye bye." So that whole studio, uh, if I remember correctly, it's Pierce Interactive. Yep, Pier uh, I'm sorry, Pisces Interactive. Pisces Interactive. Pieces. Pieces. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm reading too fast. Pieces Interactive is now um, uh, gone. It is gone completely. The parent company, Embracer, shut them down. Uh, it's... I... I... There was so many things that went wrong with this, including things such as, you know, making an Alone in the Dark reboot when you didn't port any of the games and no one can play any of the originals. Which I would argue is what many people would like to do. Myself yeah. included. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, hold on. If I look up Alone in the Dark, I'm pretty sure the only place to get it is a GOG. Alone in the Dark, one. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, it's on Steam. Steam. All right. It's on cool, cool, Steam. Cool. Would like maybe, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Release date 1993, so it's, it's very, and it's on sale. Very old, but like you see the point we're trying to get, like maybe yeah. a nice new collection, a, a, like a, a, you know. Hey, night a, a dive. New uh, it, it, hey, night dive. <laughs> night dive, night dive, night dive, night dive, night dive. You think if we say it enough times, they'll, they'll hear about it and then it'll be like, hey, uh, we'll do what we can. And it's like, hey, do it, be, bada be, bada bing, bada boom, we got this. It's like, oh, th thanks, guy. You, you the real MVPs here. <laughs> But yeah, no, so it, it they released the game. It was their first AAA game. Oh god, that was their first AAA game. Too. Yeah, because they were oh. a double A to one uh, A studio. Dang, I feel bad for them. And then Embracer really went, we need triple A games. And then that this happened, mm -hmm. and now within one month, gone. Gone. A hundred percent gone. So I don't. I don't know what the idea was for this Alone in the Dark reboot. Of course, Embracer still sucks. As we've talked about on this show. Yeah, it's still... A couple times. They, they're still bad. <laughs> you know, and it's not going to get any better. You know, you can look at that video where they want to charge 80 to to $100 for a video game in whatever corner, you know, on the sidebar or if you go to our YouTube channel. But yeah, this is... Um, because they're hurting for cash since their, uh, I think it was Saudi Arabian deal backed out. Mm. They're they are hurting for cash. So, yep. 
what, one month for what their first game under Embracer. One month. Do you think it would have been more successful if they'd kept the original release date? No way. I don't even know what came out last year around that same time. Alan Wake 2 was around that same time. Oh, okay. No, it would have been, yeah. And considering... Same thing would have happened. Yeah, it, it, it debatably maybe even worse mm -hmm. <clears throat> because it's because it, it it plays. I mean, let's be mean here for three seconds. It's a horror third-person shooter. The market is not hurting for those at the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, I, you know, case in point, all the Resident Evil remakes, Callisto Protocol, you know, uh, Alan Wake Two. Not to say they're all the same game. <laughs> But it's just funny that you mentioned Callisto Protocol in the same breath as the Resident Evil remake. I mean, yeah. It, 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 exists, it exists, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm Doesn't sorry. mean anyone played it. I, I forgot Dead, uh, Dead Space 1 remake as well, which also failed to meet financial mm -hmm. things. Um, so, I mean, but like the, the point still, like even if it yeah, failed, no, the point yeah. still stands. There's a huge mm -hmm. market, not that people are buying, but creatively there's a huge market of people just... They saw Resident Evil 2 do yeah. good. They're rushing to make another third-person action mm -hmm. horror hybrid. And maybe, I, I honestly think they honestly shouldn't have just even made this. They just shouldn't have made it, like at all. Maybe, or like maybe make a smaller budget, small, yeah. not like a huge triple A game port the original <laughs> and see if that is successful do a nice you know? remaster yeah. trilogy like the tomb raider trilogy mm -hmm. that everyone likes and guess what everyone picked it up everyone discovered the old tomb yeah. raider games everyone liked that collection it was heavily praised and you know people are more accepting of tomb raider you know we're getting a whole netflix animated series now yeah. I don't know if that was directly caused by the... Pro probably, probably not. not. It's, it's just coincidental, Be but still. Because the, Laura Croft's now the... Sh Laura Croft's the new character that never has a game, but yet she's in everyone else's game. Very true, very true. You know, one of the most iconic female video game characters of all time can't get a game, but mm -hmm. point still stands. You know? I mean, so, it hasn't been that long since that last game, has it? <laughs> last... Tomb Raider. The Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I think? Yeah, the one that bombed. Yeah. 2018. 2018. Okay, so... 2018. Note, it was a trilogy that was 2015, 2017, then 2018. No, no, I'm sorry. It was 2013, 15, 18. Okay. So, on paper, we should have gotten one in 2021, but... Uh, no, and there's no plan for a new Laura game, and she's in Dead by Daylight before the new game was announced. Yay. Even though she could... She's Classic horror game protagonist, Lara Croft. But she's not Laura. She's Laura Survivor, like in the new reboot trilogy, because she's a survivor in the wilderness. Is that, is that, is that really what, what they went with? Like marketing? Wise? Why do you think the new Tomb Raider anime, she has the survivor stuff? Yes, that's what they've been doing since the reboot. She's survivor. No, I, I, I know. Is, is that... Like, did they use that language when they announced it? They've been using that language every time Laura's mentioned. Oh. That's why whenever I'm so down on, like, tomb, new Tomb Raider stuff, it's because it's, like, it's not crazy architect lady yeah. wants to screw over governments by stealing ancient treasures and killing dinosaurs. It's, she's on an island. And she, she's sad. She's sad and Don't has to that. survive the wilderness by using the things around her and the convenient bow she brought with her. And maybe a gun she finds. Mm -hmm. She has to do puzzles to survive. I've only played the first one, so I have no idea if the if the other two are like this at all. <laughs> I I can't even. I but that's like the marketing scheme they're yeah. going with there. What were we talking about? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, alone in the dark. Yeah, yeah, okay. But the point still stands. The point still stands. Uh, 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 the, the the Tomb Raider thing is now it's officially its own bit. <laughs> They should have just remastered Alone in the Dark, had a big trilogy, be like, hey guys, look at this. Wow, isn't this see awesome? See if there's demand for a new game or remake. Yeah, you should have tested the waters before you just went all out. Because, you know, with Resident Evil, that's the franchise that's still active. 
you know? That, like, it's, it's, it hasn't stopped being active. They're always making new games. And there's, yep. like, here, have a remake of this game. Mm -hmm. When's the last time we got a Alone in the Dark game? 2009, it was also a reboot, and it was also critically and commercially a failure. Okay, so clearly, there's not an audience at the time at this moment. You need to test the waters with something like a remaster. Yep. You need to do that before you commit that much money on making a triple A remake. Remaster, small budget game, mm -hmm. literally anything. That's what they did with Tomb Raider with those like uh, with the, the the twin stick shooters. Mm. That's what they did. They had a smaller game. It was like, are people still interested in Laura? Yeah. The answer is yes. People bought the little small game. And we got Tomb Raider 2011 or whatever, 13, right? It's it, it's 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 actually insane that at this point all the video game they, all the video game companies are just owned by corporate techno technocrat CEOs. They're like, uh, yeah, if we just dump. Thirty bajillion dollars into this, people will buy it, right? Yeah. And the answer is no. And, all right. So, uh, are we on to this is the the eh news now? Yeah, the eh. Okay, news. so the we're eh we're news. we're taking a like half a step up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, right. uh, everyone's favorite. Horizon Zero Dawn was getting a Netflix TV show. But however, it has been uh, now canceled due to the fact that the, the showrunner, which was the showrunner for the Umbrella Academy, was accused by 12 different women of... Uh, oh, it was the toxic guy? Yeah. The Umbrella Academy guy? Yeah, for toxic work culture. Because I people. saw a report about that, and I assumed it was talking about the Umbrella... like. That show, and not this show. Yeah, no, he was the showrunner okay. for this, and he got fired, and they, no one else stepped up, so they're just deleting the Horizon cool. Zero Dawn show on Netflix. Uh, it was, it was it, apparently, it was production started two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, but the, but apparently, like, I guess, I guess one pregnant woman he insulted her for like her body or something. Mm -hmm. But that's not the point. That's well, the point. I heard there was like homophobic and transphobic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is insane because the Umbrella Academy, there is a trans man <laughs> as part of their main cast. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's weird. The whole situation's weird. So that's, but that's like not, that's like one of the main points. So I'm, first of all, if you are one of the five people who were excited for the Netflix TV show, I'm sorry, it's gone now. They're not, they couldn't get another showrunner. They yeah. fired the guy for toxic workplace. Probably, I don't, it, they, it would've, they would've lost money on it. Uh, they they would've lost they, money on it, They lose money with every TV show. I know, they're in like billions of dollars of debt, so. But the thing I hear, but the thing that this main segment is, is chat, fellas, I have played 20 minutes of Horizon Zero Dawn. I am sick of seeing it. <laughs> Every 30 goddamn seconds. The, I, there was a meme saying Horizon Zero Dawn is an astroturfed series, and guys, now I'm kind of believing it. How did this get a TV show? I don't know. Before literally dozens of IPs in the whole entire world. It, it, it seems like an odd choice for them to go with this to kind of like push that out the door. Like Last of Us, yeah, that makes sense. That's yeah. like huge, huge, huge. Yep. But Horizon, people like it, I guess, but like it, they don't talk about it in the same breath as like The Last of Us or yeah. God of War. Because Horizon Zero, Dawn, Horizon Zero Dawn came out. Nobody cared. Mm -hmm. It got bundled for free with a PlayStation on Black Friday deals. Everyone bought it. That's why the numbers are so high. Mm -hmm. They bundle it with other things. But here's the thing, right? That's not that's not saying much, right? That's just me saying things. It's a numbers game. But here's the thing. Nintendo does that too. But here, people remember Wii Sports. People remember Mario Kart. <laughs> I, when I go to video <laughs> game Twitter, I don't even know who the main villain of Horizon Zero Dawn is. No one brings him up. You know, I've played a 
a decent amount of Horizon. What's their name? I'm struggling to remember if there was a villain. <laughs> like, there's no cultural relevance to this show. And I'm not trying to be a jerk. It's cool if you like it, but like, there's what? A multiplayer spinoff, a remake of the first it, game. Uh, oh, in development. Okay. In development, right? right? A, a Lego spinoff was announced. The first video game series to get its own Lego version of a video game. Mm -hmm. It's this one. Uh, I'm gonna guess Sony is making their own movie considering they're making movies of everything. Yeah. It's like, uh, 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 who, who cares? <laughs> like when, when people, when I saw news of this, do you know what I didn't see? I didn't see, oh man, I saw, Ew, it was getting a show? <laughs> that was the general reaction. Here, here's my take on it, because I think the world is really fascinating. It's a really interesting world. I feel like a live action TV series wasn't the way to go. Like an animated series, maybe? Oh, God. If it that, was, I feel like that would have been the way to go. If it was like a Gendy Tarkovsky yes. style. Yes. Where, oh, my God, yes. Where you, where, where you have a character just wandering in the nature mm -hmm. and a small plot happens. That could be like a pretty valid idea. Yeah. I think that's interesting. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's what... Um, Oh God! It, not animated, of course. What's that garbage Harry Potter spinoff? Fantastic Beasts? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was supposed to be a documentary, like a faux documentary. Oh, so like of creatures. The, the book, the actual book, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them was. Wow, that yeah. would have been a much better idea. It would have been literally the character. That book is cool. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's literally it was gonna be that, and mm -hmm. then they're like, we need to make it more like. Harry Potter, let's bring in J.K. Rowling. We need to make money. We gotta franchise this. Yeah, and look how good that did. But like, I, like you could, and, and like the thing is, I never see any creative ideas with no. this, because to reiterate, these games come out when better games come out. Breath of the Wild and Elden Ring. People still talk about Breath of the Wild. People still talk about Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. I don't see. I don't. I don't see anyone talk about it. But yet everyone's like, dude, the numbers, the numbers. It's Sony's four pillars, and it's just, are we like actually? I, I don't. The, the, the really insane thing to me is that like, I see like every so often I see people talk about Zero Dawn. See anyone talking about the, the last one, Forbidden Wilds or whatever it was called. The last time I saw it, <laughs> it was Chris Reagan saying, it's okay, but four hours of tutorials is insane. Jesus. Which before you go, mm, the tutorial was actually 10 minutes. I don't, if, if I still get mechanics taught to me in like a very, like point, like stop, you must stop the game. Yeah. You must learn how to do it. You're still in the tutorial. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's why uh, Persona 5, the First tutorial is 10 hours, don't at me, right? It's just, <laughs> and like, if you like it, valid, totally cool. But if you sit there and go, this is a top five game franchise of all time, and it needs all this attention more than, if we just stick with Sony, yeah. more than Jack and Daxter, mm -hmm. more than Killzone, more than Ratchet and Clank. Infamous. Info yeah, Infamous. What, what, uh, Parappa the Rapper, if we even go back far I enough? I feel like Infamous would be a great, like, oh choice for, a tea, for an adaptation. And it is the perfect time because we have all the superhero mm -hmm. stuff. Infamous would be a really neat idea to make into a serialized TV yeah. show. And maybe even make a new game to capitalize on this. <laughs> <laughs> a new infamous yeah, game. Yeah, a new, a new. You're funny, Howard. Sony making a new game, period. Like the <clears throat> Twisted Metal live service game that was supposed to coincide with the TV show that got canned. I forgot that was supposed to happen. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, so now we have a Twisted Metal show, and fans go, ooh, boy, Twisted Metal, can't wait to play that game. And then oh. they look, and there's nothing. Actually, you can buy Twisted Metal Black for the, you know, on the, on the P PSN store. Not the point. <laughs> It's just very odd. Yeah. That is my take. It's, this is just a very it's an odd, odd choice. It's like they can't make enough Last of Us games to milk out, so they have to. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, if, what if what, what if we remake Left Behind and sold that 
as a, as a standalone because they sold it as a standalone on the PS3. So they re, because they already remade it for Last of Us Part One. But what if they re-remade it and sold that as standalone for like 30 bucks? What if we remade The Last of Us, but we inserted the TV show cutscenes as oh. the cutscenes? Oh. Instead of actually hold on, adding hold on, anything cut new. this out, cut this out. We can't let Sony hear about this. <laughs> They're gonna steal this idea. What if we made a game based on the TV show? Whoa! I would not put that past them, actually. Like, they just get uh, Pedro Pascal, and I can't remember the actress who plays Ellie. Would just get them to do their roles. And Wouldn't it be really funny actually, if it was like that, those like PS2, like they even make the games, like the same polygons as those PS2, Xbox, GameCube, time, like the Lord of the Rings games. Yeah. And they like get the voice actors back and they're all miserable. They poorly make like the same exact face, kinda. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, but like, like they, they stick with, I would actually unironically that, play that. That would be pretty good. If they put in like the extra effort where it's like an awkward beat em up. It, yeah. like, it's, like, it's, it's like a mid 2000s movie tie in game. Oh my or like God. a bad movie tie-in game, not like a Spider-Man 2. Or, or like a Peter Jackson's King Kong, like, yeah. like, a, like a really bad one. Mm -hmm. You know, like you could grab like, I don't know, Chronicles of Narnia oh, or... Uh... God. God, that's such a... All right, put, cut, cut, cut this back in, <laughs> Sony. You can take that idea. That's an idea you can have. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's our, that's our cool. one idea. <laughs> You're welcome. You can keep milking The Last of Us. But like you gotta be creative, yeah. Like this, yeah. And you can milk Horizon Zero Dawn, just or try, or try at least, <laughs> and fail, and fail. Um, and I guess this is its own segment, but we have to talk about the controversy of Assassin's Creed Shadows, in which you can play as a female ninja. And uh, uh, Yasuke, uh, one of the last samurai, mm -hmm. a black samurai, mm -hmm. who was in Japan, um, there was some controversy, and by controversy, I mean racist. Yes, who and are sexist. Oh, Don't forget that. Honestly, the sexism was a little more toned down. Yeah. I saw more about the, him. The racists are usually louder in general. Yeah, so, and they're mad because it goes, I want to play a game in Japan where I play as a Japanese samurai, as if there's not 30 thousand samurai games where you can do that. Have you heard of this little known indie game? It was very well received, but it, but it was it was very small. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> and the uh, Dynasty Warriors, all 30 games of those. Yes. Uh, Way of the Samurai, that was a whole entire franchise. Uh, uh, like a Dragon Ishin. Uh, you know, you know, just, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know we got, uh, you know, you could just, play those and and then there was a huge debate of whether or not he was an official samurai which he was a retainer for a lord and got the lord's swords when he died every japanese historian on the planet says he is one now my, what my, are you smoking my my other question is um who cares you yeah. get to be a samurai and that's cool I say this as someone who has only played two Assassin's Creed games in my life. You get to play as a samurai. That's cool. Yeah. That is that is objectively a cool thing. Like it is, uh, and like this is how I even know it. Uh, no one cares. They go, but my realism. You could beat up the Pope. Exactly. That's a thing. In the like, UFO. Historical accuracy. Yeah. Fist fight the Pope. In a UFO. And you know what? You know what else? That's cool too. <laughs> yeah. Remember when Assassin's Creed was cool, where you could punch a pope in a UFO under the Vatican as the finale, and then it proceeds to go to end with a literal fourth wall break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of an alien trying to contact a random Italian man during the Renaissance. <laughs> what? What do you mean the realism? Shut up. You dumb, dumb idiot. They had a whole DLC of what if George Washington was on the side of the Brits and beat the British so that way he could rule the 13 colonies. What are you, would you like your crack pipe now or later? Just say you're racist and be done with it, I'd God. Res I'd respect you more if you just actually just said that than do all these like hoops and hurls. And there was like, so like, 
two dudes on Twitter who goes, <laughs> I'm actually a Japanese historian that was found out like two days later they were just white dudes. <laughs> okay, of course. So that's who's on your side. Two historians who said it's not true. It was a white dude the whole time versus literal history. Mm -hmm. Who cares? Who cares? Yasuke's cool. Just admit yeah. Yasuke's cool. Afro Samurai's cool. No one had a problem with exactly. Afro Samurai. That's the most. Maybe if they got Samuel L. Jackson to voice Yasuke in this, people would Dude. be mad. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's all they need to. Do we know who's voicing Yasuke in this? There is no way after that they're revealing his name <laughs> anytime Probably. soon. What if they do get Samuel L. Jackson to voice him and they're like, you, you're gonna be mad at Sam Jackson? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really, wow. you really gonna be pissed about that? Oh my God! Imagine if they do get him or like a Keith David, like someone who's just that beloved, to voice him. Oh my God! There's no way that it. it imagine. I, I would actually want that just to see what would happen. That would be the one time I'm okay with a Hollywood voice actor. Right. Yeah. Imagine, like, imagine they get him. And who's like a, a, a an actress that literally no one hates? Mm. Um, oh, oh, oh. It has to be, um, has to be an Asian woman. Um, oh, oh, she's in everything now. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Michelle. Oh, Michelle Yeoh. Yeah, Michelle Yeoh. Mm. Samuel Jack, like, I know it's like a Reddit tier thing, yeah. but like, you're really gonna get mad at those two. I actually, and like, that would be so funny. That'd be so and the funny. The best part is, I could. Keith David's not a bad pick, honestly. To play Yasuke? Oh, no. Like, that's not a bad pick. No, it's not. I was memeing with Sam Jackson, but Keith David, like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were just doing that because of Afro Samurai. Yeah. You know, God bless Afro Samurai. But, like, geez. Geez. It's like. I. Ab you, you have, like, uh, uh, potatoes in mm -hmm. your brain. And I keep seeing people, it's like, uh, 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 my realism, my realism. Bro, there's literally a plot point in Assassin's Creed Revelations. Again, it's a plot about uh, assassins and Templars doing a war with each other. There's, there's literally a whole plot line saying the Templars took over the American Congress and the uh, Republican mm -hmm. Party. <laughs> Morealism? <laughs> like what? Are you st are you dumb? Yeah. Are, do, do you have sh show me on the piece of paper when Assassin's Creed was realistic, where you could jump off a ten foot story building, shank someone in the neck, and do a little roll, and then like do the Fortnite floss and be totally fine <laughs> without breaking. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, you got a hook arm where you can jump off of any building, stick out the hook, grab onto it, and you're fine. And you don't lose damage. His arm should be torn mm -hmm. off. No, that's fine. That's fine, man. That's fine. And uh, that was the end of our show. So you got some new games to look forward to. Howard, I'm so happy. We actually had good news for once in this show. And we had a good time. I'm not leaving this studio depressed for once. Ooh, see what happens when you get um, people who aren't miserable to make good games? Yeah. Thanks, Nintendo, for saving video games once again. God bless America, or Japan, I guess, in this case. Their, their mascot's an Italian. They don't care. Yeah. They don't care. I think good point. Goodbye! I thought you were talking about Japan's mascot being Italian at first, and I got really confused. <laughs> yeah, Goku's Italian, dude. <laughs>